Oh, it's COVID stuff? Yeah. And good. other vaccines like the flu shot and stuff like that. What do you have to do? You have to drill a farm out? Yeah. I'll do one. Yeah. Have you ever had one before? No, 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 I haven't had one. Okay. Um, so I think, uh, did you, how long have you been, you, you in pharmacy? I'm not in pharmacy, but, um, they use me over here whenever they have the table set up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have a lot of friends that work here, so I kind of get around with them. Did you know, uh, did you know, uh, laundry? Mm -hmm. You know, Brian, that used to work here? Mm -hmm. You know him? Bit. How do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? Really? Yeah. Um, so what, I, I have to fill this out? Yep, so you just put your name, age, yes and no for this, and then um, you fill out this, one through eight, yes and no, and sign the eight. Like the clean pen, dirty pen thing. Okay, cool. All right, let me fill this out. Where do you Where do you think that, Where do you think he's at? It's nuts, right? Oh, he was here. What's up with it, YouTube? It's your favorite white boy with the radio, with the microphone. Smash and subscribe. Big salute to my members, my supporters, my subscribers. Best in the world. Uh, don't mind the shirt. I don't want any weirdos calling my boss, finding my work. Been there, done that. It's lame. It makes you weird, weirdos. Look, we're going to revisit the uh, Brian Laundry case for just a little bit. I want to kind of go back there uh, to tell my story. I was out there with some people. Um, awareness and word was getting out. A lot of attention was getting brought to this case. While I was out there, you know, there was other YouTubers with me or people that who maybe were not on YouTube at the time. Um, I did not know at the time that, you know, they were doing, they were standing out there for alternative reasons. So, you know, I'd like to share my personal experience of when I was out there. I'm not going to make this a big playlist. I'm just going to add it to the Gabby Petito, Brian Laundry case that I already have. Um, but I, there, there's certain things I want to get out there on the interwebs, the inner zones, um, told truthfully you know everyone knows i was out there for my community um and many of you have uh were out there with me a lot of you every single live uh, for the whole car rides salute to you you know who you are uh, but you look the, the lives are long man um they're long hours long we're out there you know um so on this very video what i want to talk about is there was a time um where we did like a little manhunt out there okay this was a uh, this was alive a few days before the FBI presser, when the FBI located his belongings, some of his stuff. Uh, I was out there protesting at the laundry house, and we ended up wrapping that day up. Um, and instead of going to a different location this time, what we ended up doing is splitting up. This was also the time right after... Cassie's house when Dog the Bounty Hunter was in the area. I believe I named the live uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter Hold My Beer. And it was a wild manhunt. A lot of people were trying to locate Brian Laundry. Um, look, he had a, I, I believe it was $25,000 was on his head at the time. Um, a lot of people were down here. Look, on and off YouTube, there's a lot of people down here on my way. There's FBI all over uh, three counties. Uh, you know, connecting three counties, FBI cars, there's this mass police. So what we did, man, is we, uh, I speak, when I say we, me and my wife, that was the real team. We broke off. Um, you know, the others may have been planting evidence. I don't know. Shenanigans with a yellow cup. I don't know. Hypothetically, educational purposes. But what we did is break, broke off from them. And um, I don't know who knows this or not. 
there was a plaza not too far from the laundries, the parents. If you can remember, if you can recall, you may have been one of the people I, if you sent a donation in for us to buy flowers, whatever have you, by her little memorial in the front yard. You know, we brought you, we, we, we bring you into the gas stations. We bring you into, there's a Publix right by the house as well. And a pizza place and all that. They, they both at one time worked at a Publix, not that Publix, but needless to say, in this live, what we did is we found out where they worked. Matter of fact, Marissa Kankles was with us this day. Uh, we're live, I, and she would do weird things and get lost on purpose and make a big scene of it, which was good. Didn't need her. Matter of fact, she was with us this time. I'm sorry. She went somewhere else. We were following each other, I remember, and she she we, we were trying to find where they worked at. Again, it wasn't the Publix right there, but there was another Publix a little bit away. Now, both Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie worked at this Publix. So, we, you know, we were all over the news and stuff. So anyone who personally knew Brian Laundrie um, or Gabby in this, in this town of Northport, it's not a big town, if you were interested in the case, you probably could recognize my face not saying not not to say in, in, in a big-headed way at, at all please don't take it like that like I'm a celebrity or anything no but um, we're out there and there's media everywhere so you know and I stick out like a sore thumb big dude tattoos Trump hat you know you can't forget that so it was kind of weird going in there because asking questions about do you know that do you know him do you know her and uh, but it went well um, there was a girl there and she knew both both parties. She knew Gabby from working with her, and she knew Brian from working with him. Um, so I interviewed her right quick. I, it's not really an interview. It was more like a questionnaire. It was live. Um, I, you know, I'm making this video before I edit my live, and I'm going to include it all. But what I remember of it is uh, this girl. You know, um, I remember leaving. And uh, talking to my wife, it was almost like this girl dated Brian. Now, I don't know that. I can't say that officially, put a stamp on it. But just talking to her, she was uh, pro-Brian Laundry. She had anything bad to say either about Gabby or Brian. But I remember asking her, like, you know, have you heard about this, this and that? She's like, I can't, I can't believe it. I used to work with him. She used to stock with him. Okay, they used to work together. Um, you know, if you... Do watch the live or this video where I'll include it. You can kind of sense that in the girl's voice. It's almost like there's some type of connection with uh, this girl and Brian Laundrie. Um, she, she didn't have nothing to say about bad about either, either of them. Now, uh, you know, the point of this video is, I've said this before in the past, you know, being in prison, you know, you are incarcerated with a lot of different people people who are robbers, stealers, you know, um, and then you have that whole thing where killers, you, you know, you're locked up with killers. Um, you know, some guys that are in there for life, they got an elbow. Some guys, you could really tell, um, you could just look at them and you could tell like, like, like that, he, that he's got a body underneath them. You could just tell that. You could, you have that, you, you can sense it, you can feel it, and you could just, you, you know, the body language, the, the, ev everything physical about it, you can tell by having a conversation, just by looking at this person, that there's no doubt in your mind that he's got a body. But there's other instances where you will have no idea that this guy killed somebody. No idea. He doesn't look like a killer. You don't sense it at all. You, you, you don't have any idea, you know, until... Uh, someone tells you, you know, it might be, you know, one of your bros in there or something, one of your friends in there, but hey man, you know that dude got life, man, he, you know, he's the one who, 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 who killed so-and-so and this and that. And it's, and it's crazy when that happens, it's, it's a very strange feeling. It's like, cause you're almost, you know, you're bef befriending this person, you know, you're, you're, you're comfortable talking to this person. You might even vibe with this person, whatever. And then to learn that it, it's a little different. Um, well, it, it's different because it's almost like, like you got tricked, you got fooled, but at the same time, you know they're never getting out, you know? And then you know, and then 
you know, I had a roommate like this. Um, I had a roommate like this. He he was a black a black kid. I was in a real bad dorm at the time, and uh, he ended up he he ended up being he had like a celebrity case, especially especially for prison. He killed. Um, he ki- he took the charge for murder for an NFL running back, uh, uh, Chris Johnson, I believe the guy's name is. I did a video so, at the beginning of the channel, um, but. You know that was a diff- different scenario too but sometimes you just never can tell sometimes you just don't know and they don't give it off you, you, you just can't tell and, and and I just want to put this out here because you, you never really know what someone's capable of you don't um, you know not everybody looks like you know some of the pictures some of the mug shots some of the news clips that you see it, it doesn't go like that trust me it does not go like that some people it, it fits it fits like a shoe yes but some you'll have you never in a never in a million years will you guess it think it sense it feel it nothing um, and that's exactly um, to me it's exactly what this girl was explaining when I was asking her questions about Brian laundry um, you know in the live you know she was she worked with him in the past Gabby as well but they were I forget if it was stocking they were in the stocking department or if it was the I think it was a bakery one of the two and you know she was almost defensive towards him Um, you know but she was also surprised and she was open talking she didn't recognize me at least not then who knows now Um, but it it, it was it was a different man Um, and I had to sell her, you know, we're in in the live, I'm, I'm getting a, uh, if anyone knows me, if you follow my Instagram, quick plug, non underscore woke underscore white ball on radio, if you follow it, I have a lot of memes against the, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a very anti jab. Okay. I will never get it. If you follow my Instagram, my social media, you probably know that. But uh, she, that's what she was doing. She was she was signing people up for the for the jab, you know, the pharmacy department. And uh, I had to play like I wanted a jab. So I don't know. You have to follow my social media to understand the irony of that. But um, so I signed me and my wife up for one, and my wife's even ten times worse of anti jab than, than I am. And and uh, I'm signing it up and this and that. And um, you know, I I got that much out of her. Um, but it, it was um it was strange you know we found we found that fast and it also brings me to a, a couple of different points that i never spoke about this whole case um you know when i was out there uh there were a few people that were very pro uh brian laundry and you know the response from youtube comments and whatnot were like more positive than negative a lot of people did not like the fact that we were out there, like the fact that we were at, um, protesting and um, at the parents' house, they, they, they beyond voiced their opinion. But there were there was a chick who would email me daily, daily, and she swore she swore that she was an ex of Brian Laundry. I have no idea if it's factual. I have no idea if it was a troll. I don't know, but y- you know. I've been doing this thing long enough to understand trolls and, and, and how they play and this and that. This lady uh, was super defensive, um, okay? And I tried to get her on for a Zoom interview, okay? She would not come on camera. I still don't know. Um, you know, I, I'm going to reach back out. We'll see what happens. She's local over here too, but she was very, very uh, defensive of... She actually contacted me because uh, subscribers, you guys snapped at her in the comments um, about being out there and this and that. And uh, it was wild, man. There's a few people that are very pro laundry. Um, another thing was while we're out there, there was a, uh, a woman come out and she knew she knew Roberta and Brian and she would cruise by the house and she would not get out because there's more people there for Gabby, 
but she would cruise by as an eerie feeling like she was just spying on us. Um, super weird, man. Um, and the last with that is, I, when I was, you know, with the whole cankle situation, at the, at the FBI at the FBI presser, there was a there was a nut job there. Um, I've I've made a video about it where it says damaged goods, um, you know, cankles and minion very quiet. Damaged goods had to boom away. It's where my wife, this lady, was like nuts. She's yelling at Betty Bullhorn Betty. She's yelling at cankles. Uh, she's super pro uh, laundry. She's at the FBI presser protesting us in a sense we are we we're all in their group and uh she starts starts snapping at betty snapping at marissa marissa got scared and we had just got there me and my wife and um she was yelling at betty it, it's on the lives too I made, I made a video about this i'll try to put a clip in this video if i remember and uh finally noelle was over there and she's like hey lady she got in her face they yelled at her and then the cops came over they made her leave she she, she was yelled at marissa yelled at betty and then she tried to come back a third time to yell, but we were there then. And uh, Noel was like, hey, kick rocks, man. I'll slap the shit out of you. And, and uh, you know, the police came and they're like, hey, you got to get out of here. Like, I'm a PAX, I'm a PAX tax paying citizen. And the cop was just like, hey, man, these people are chilling. They're not making any noise. You're doing all this crazy yelling, get out of here. But it was just weird, man. Circumstances like that, you know what I mean? But, the, you know, back to the, the lady in Publix, co worker of both Petito and Laundry. Um, I'm going to put the clip in. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to just kind of break down um, some of these and let them go here and there. Because, again, man, this is, uh, you know, thinking about, about this, it was all for community, man. Um, you know, meeting the Petito family was the ultimate thanks. They thanked the online community. You know, I, I got to bring the aunt. That was cool. Um, and uh, there's been other members, too. I'm not going to say too much because uh, I can't, but um, you know, it, it, it's the ultimate uh, satisfaction, if you will, um, just to have that by our side. And when I say our side, I mean myself and my wife, and not everybody, because uh, believe it or not, the Petito family, I, I, to my knowledge, is not happy with everybody that was out there. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Till next time, man, uh, smash that sub and uh, enjoy the clip. Keep it moving, man. Subscribe. I'm out. I could care less about that attorney and whatever he feels and thinks about. That family has ignored phone calls. That girl used to live there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, bitches.